Hi guys, welcome to a tutorial on how to use Sheepit Render Farm. If you've not heard of that before, it's a free render farm um, using a distributed sort of setup where other users contribute to your renders and, and likewise you contribute to others. Uh, it'll make sense as we get started. In Blender here, you can see I've made a very short animation of a camera zooming in on a cube. Award-winning stuff, as I'm sure you agree. Now, what we're going to do is save this file and then upload it to the render farm. Before you save, though, you've got to make sure that the render farm has access to all of the files necessary for the render, be it textures, um, assets outside of the, the Blender file that you've appended in, stuff of that nature. Way to do that, go to external data and make sure that automatically pack into dot blend is checked as it is here. Then save your file. I've saved it to the desktop for ease. And there it is there. So now we'll bring up the website. Um, you need to create a, an account to use it, which, uh, which I've done. Uh, and now we'll add this project. We'll do that by clicking on projects, waiting for the page to load which can take a little while sometimes. Uh, it is a free service, so, so do bear that in mind. Then we'll hit Add a Project. We'll select that file that we just saved and upload it. Obviously, this, that'll be, it's a very small file, uh, so it will happen quickly. On larger files, you may have to do some work with textures. They do have a maximum of 500 meg. Um, and there's been one or two occasions where my blend file's been larger than that. Um, so do bear that in mind. Now before you start the job you've got a few options and you can adjust what frames it renders in case you've just got the end of animation that you need to to update or, or whatever but uh, you, you can adjust the frames there. Now this bit's important. You can split the frames into four tiles um, allowing for a, a, a bigger overall render. When there's a, there's a maximum amount of time that you can take up per render or per frame or tile I should say uh, and it's I believe it's 20 minutes if your render is going to take longer than that you can turn on four tiles and four separate people will render the four corners um, quadrupling the amount of time that you're allowed to uh, to take up the downside is whenever you're doing that no compositing will be done on your image. So if you're going to be using compositing, you have to download the file and then apply the compositing afterwards. So in this case, we're not going to take it because there's no need. It's a, it's a very simple file. Uh, and I'll hit Add This Job. And then we go to Administration. And this is the page where you see how it's progressing, basically. You've got all these squares, these gray squares in the middle here. Uh, they represent each frame. As they're rendered, they'll go green, and you can hover over them and get a little mini thumbnail of that particular frame that's being rendered. What you can also do is render a single frame, um, like a really large image that's taking way too long on your computer. You can put it on Sheep It. You'll get a slightly different option when you upload that type of file, um, and it will split it by, I believe it's 96 tiles which really does allow you to render some huge, uh, huge scenes uh, nice and efficiently. But the same rule applies with the compositing, so do bear that in mind. So now we've got this file up and running and good to go. I'm going to show you how to contribute to Sheepit. And in this case, we'll also start rendering our, uh, our project there. So under Get Started, there's a download link for the Windows client, uh, Linux and Mac has options as well. I've used the Linux one several times, works perfectly well. In this case we're using Windows. I've already downloaded the file. So remember where it is? There we go. We'll get that loaded. Now mine's probably just going to go straight into starting up because I've used it uh, before, but when you first uh, open it you'll need to type in your username and password that you use to register on the site. Very, very simple. And that is literally it. Once you've got that running, uh, it will contact the server, get a job, and start rendering it. If you have no active projects um, currently waiting, it will just pick the next one that has priority. But regardless of your priority, your home client will always render your projects first, which is which is good to remember. Just 
waiting a moment here so we can see it in action and there you go you see it's rendering project sheep at example which is the one we put up there so it's, it's first come first serve but then wait weighted against how much you contribute so if you uh, leave your little sheep at client running all the time and you co contribute a lot of render time to other people's projects when you come to do a project bam you're going to be right up the top of the list and you'll start getting rendered quickly if like me you've fallen a little bit behind on your contributions then you're going to be further down the list and have to wait longer it's a very fair way of doing it uh, as I'm sure you can agree now one thing I forgot to do when I was uh, in the administration page which I'm going to get back to now is you have to manually enable GPU rendering otherwise it will only render on people's CPUs which is sometimes something you might want there can be some issues sometimes um, if people haven't got their CUDA installed properly or the GPU's not working properly or, or, or whatever uh, I found sometimes you can get some some broken frames that don't look right that you have to re-render when rendering on GPU um, but I still think overall it's faster to, to use GPU and then manually fix if need be so now that's done I'm going to pause the recording um, wait for this to get rendered off uh, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to pull the file out and, and make use of it right and we're back as you can see all of the uh, frames have now rendered the uh, squares are all green and if you hover over them you can see the thumbnails of the rendered frames which is perfect uh, we need to download them to do that you would click get archive frame I won't do that now because I've already downloaded them uh, they come in a zip format which I've already extracted and brought into uh, in, in my case I'm using Adobe Premiere though the video editor within Blender works just as well and as you can see the animation uh, is, is perfect so I hope you have fun with this uh, definitely give the Sheep at Render Farm a go. The link will be in the text underneath this video. That's it for now. Uh, see you next time.